The Kremlin haven't learnt the lessons of history. They dream of recreating the Soviet Union or a kind of greater Russia, carving up territory based on ethnicity and language. They claim they want stability while they work to threaten and destabilize others. We know what lies down that path and the terrible toll in lives lost and human suffering it brings. That's why we urge President Putin to desist and step back from Ukraine before he makes a massive strategic mistake. We need everyone to step up. Together with our allies, we will continue to stand with Ukraine and urge Russia to de-escalate. What happens in Eastern Europe matters for the world. Threats to freedom, democracy and the rule of law aren't just regional, they're global. And that's why we have to respond together. We are very clear together with our allies in the G7, with our allies in NATO, that if there is an incursion by Russia into Ukraine, it would come at a massive cost. We are prepared to put very severe sanctions in place. We are also working to support Ukraine in terms of defensive capability. What I would say as well is that dealing with this immediate situation is, of course, an absolute priority. But the free world also needs to work together to reduce economic dependence on Russia. It would not be easy. The Ukrainians uh, will fight this. This could end up as a quagmire, and I think that should be seriously considered by Russia. But of course, Ukraine isn't a member of NATO, uh, so it's not in the same position as, for example, uh, the Baltic states, where there would be uh, direct action uh, in the case of any conflict.